Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. If you root your phone, you can get access to hundreds of root-only apps that help you to utilize the actual power of your device, remove the unwanted stock apps and even flash a newer version of Android in the form of custom ROMs. Now all that can be yours if you just root your device and flash a custom recovery on it. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys in this video. So if you own a OnePlus 3 or 3T running Oxygen OS 4.0.1 or higher based on Android Nougat 7.1.1, then folks, you're watching the right video. Now with that being said, let's start. The prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked. Second, you should have a pre-installed TWRP recovery. So let's start with unlocking the bootloader. Now before starting the actual process, let's download some important files first. First one on the list is the fastboot zip file and the second one is TWRP recovery image. As usual, all the download links will be in the description box, so head over to that and download both the files on your PC and put them in a separate folder. Once that is done, head over to your device and the very first thing that you have to do is to make a backup of your data. Because if you unlock the bootloader, then your all data will be wiped out, so taking a backup is must. Once that is done, go to the setting menu, then about phone, now tap the build number 7 times to enable the developers option. Then go back and click on developers option, from there you have to enable two options. First one is OEM unlocking and the second one is USB debugging. After that, connect your device with your PC via USB cable and you will see the drivers will start installing on your PC. Once that is done, remove the USB cable. Now, before moving forward, make sure your battery is at least 60% charged, which is highly recommended. Now switch off your device and boot into fastboot mode by holding volume up plus power button for few seconds until you see this screen. Now you have successfully booted your device into fastboot mode. Now connect your device with PC via USB cable. After that, head over to your PC and open the folder where you put both the downloaded files. Now extract the fastboot zip file. Once that is done, copy the TWRP recovery image to that folder. After that is done, now you have to type some commands to unlock the bootloader and install the TWRP recovery. So open the fastboot folder, now hold shift and right click on mouse and click this option which says open command window here. This will basically open the command window and keep that in mind that you have to open this command window over this fastboot folder only. Now type fastboot devices and press enter to confirm that your USB drivers are installed properly. Now as you can see it is showing my device listed which means my drivers are installed properly but if it is not showing on yours then head over to the description box and download the ADB drivers and install it then reboot your PC and repeat the process again. Now to unlock the bootloader type fastboot space OEM space unlock and press enter. Then a prompt will pop up on your device and it will ask for permissions to unlock the bootloader. So navigate to yes by using volume up and down. Now hit the power button to confirm. Now as I told you earlier that this will wipe all your data so again make sure to do a backup. Now your device will automatically reboot and the first boot will take more time than the normal boot so relax. Once the boot is finished you have to set up your device. Now the next thing that we are going to do is to install a TWRP recovery and again for that head over to the developers option and enable USB debugging because after unlocking the bootloader all the system settings are reset. Once that is done, switch off your device and again boot into fastboot mode as I showed earlier. Now if you look closer, it is showing that your device is unlocked and this confirms that your bootloader is now unlocked. Now connect the device with PC via USB cable and head over to your PC and open the fastboot folder where we put the TWRP recovery image. Now open the command window by holding shift and right clicking on the mouse and type fastboot space flash space recovery space TWRP and press tab. This will automatically fill the name of TWRP image file. Now press enter and you are done. Now type fastboot space reboot space bootloader and press enter. This will basically reboot your bootloader. Now head over to your device and navigate to recovery and hit power button to select it. This will boot your device into recovery mode. 
Once booted, swipe this blue button to right to allow modifications. If you don't do this, you will not be able to boot into TWRP recovery. Now, as you can see, we have successfully booted our OnePlus 3 or 3T into TWRP recovery and we have also unlocked the bootloader. And this method is also applicable for OnePlus 1 or OnePlus 2. So if you have one of those devices, then you can also follow the same steps in order to unlock the bootloader and install the TWRP recovery. Now head over to the description box and download the super SU file for your OnePlus 3 or 3T and put that in the internal memory of your device. The super SU file for both the devices are different, so make sure to download the right file. Once done, click on the backup option and create a full backup of your ROM by swiping this blue button to right. And this step is highly recommended because in case your device ended with a boot loop, then you can easily restore your ROM. After backup is done, go back and click on install and navigate the super SU file. Now select that and swipe this blue button to right to flash the zip file. Once flashing is done, click on this option which says Wipe, Cache and Delvic and again swipe this blue button to wipe. Now you can click on Reboot System, this will basically boot up your device. Once boot up is finished, you can see that now you have this Super SU app which means the root binaries has been successfully installed. Now to confirm root, open the root checker app and now as you can see my device has successfully rooted. Now there are lots of things that I can do with my device and so you can also. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys liked it and if you do then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.